fucking gut shit everywhere. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. We are in Armour 3. Now, I originally started off as an Armour 3 channel. I played the game to death. Many, many, many hours. Fuck you, Mullen. 1300 hours, my ass. Anyway, that's a private joke for Mullen. Who thinks I haven't played the game long enough to be able to appreciate it, even though I've got over 500 hours in Armour 3. Yes, started off in Armour 3, in a GU, 3 CDO, made some great friends there, who I'm still friends with now. And that moved on to 16AA, which was a full-on Milsim group. I just got tired of it. You know when you play a game so much that it just becomes tedious, shall we say. It, I just wasn't enjoying Armour. And when the opportunity came up, that I'd heard that Armour 3 was updated with Apex, which included a new lighting engine, better performance, things like that. I was intrigued, to say the least. I'm a graphics whore. And having seen some screenshots, such as as you can see on screen, it looks beautiful. That horrible yellowy Mediterranean... Yuck! Just, I just did not like the maps. And with all things in armour, I prefer current day tech, all this bug-eyed futuristic shit. It just doesn't wash it for me. I want Bradleys, M1s, M4s, Sawguns, all that sort of stuff. So I thought, I'll just get in the editor, the Apex editor, which is under the dev branch. We'll get in a hummingbird. We'll go for a little flight and see what we think about the actual graphics. Have a little look around the island, get a feel for how it looks now with the new lighting engine. Get out, get, get boots on the ground, have a little walk around. Let's, let's see what we think about the new Armour 3 update. So as I get this bird in the air, the first thing I've noticed instantly is the frame rate seems to be a lot better. I haven't got the view distance on a maximum, but it is up quite high. I'm running with a 980Ti SSD, an old i5, I hasten to add. And I'm running this at 1440 by 2560 at 144Hz. And it's absolutely silky smooth. Now, usually things like this are silky smooth in the editor. It's usually when you get in game with a GU with 70 players, vehicles and everything, where it goes horribly well, let's just say the frame rate suffers slightly. So this is probably not going to be a, a complete scientific test of how it's running, but so far in the editor it looks absolutely beautiful. The new lighting engine really has increased the quality of these graphics, and it certainly does look in places almost photorealistic. So on that side of it, I really am quite impressed. Armour 3, as we come down here, 
through the valley. Absolutely silky smooth, no complaints whatsoever, and it looks like it's starting to rain slightly. I think for me personally, speed of sound or dragon fire will increase my experience of getting back into armor slightly tenfold. Absolutely tenfold, so I will be putting those back in, and I may even do a comparison video on the audio scene as Dragonfire has been updated recently with the Apex version. So let's get down, let's land, have a look at boots on the ground, and see whether it looks any better. Whether it still looks as good down there as it does from up here with the new lighting engine, and we can have a look at the water as well. in there but it's been a while since I've actually got in a helo and in armor 3 as well so let's turn the engine off let's get out get boots on the ground and have a little look around and see what we think of the new lighting engine because so far it looks really really nice Now, as many of you probably know, Cheneris was always my favourite map, even in the updated versions in uh, Armour 3. So I would like to see what that map looks like with the new lighting engine. RHS Escalation Packs, they'll be getting downloaded as well if I'm going to start having a little sniff around in Armour. Who knows? Still not convinced on the audio sounds for weapons and stuff, but again... I'm going to be replacing those anyway with the RHH Escalation Pack uh, graphics, should I say. And also, I don't know if Blast Ghost still even going these days. did look a little bit rough around the edges. Speed of Sound or Dragonfire, definitely one of those. But as you can see, the terrain looks nice. There's still a little bit of pop-up, which is a shame, I think. It's a pity they can't sort that out. It is a little bit immersion breaking when there's no pop-up in the distance when I'm walking. Uh, but so far, quite impressed. But this has just been me having a little look around, having a look at the Apex Dev branch for Armour 3. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me some comments, see what you think. Anything I should look at. I know there's a new map out which I haven't purchased, as I'm not sure whether I even want to get back into Armour 3 as yet. But thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays. I'll see you in another video coming real soon. Bye-bye.